I'm going to show you how to marzipan the rich fruit cake. These are the things that you're going to need. Your cake, obviously. A bit of alcohol to feed and sterilise. Jam or marmalade for the sticking on. Marzipan and the tools. Rolling pin, smoothers, knife, brush and icing sugar. What you need to do to start with is unwrap your cake and if it's very uneven on the top it's a good idea to use your rolling pin and roll across the top of it. If it's all right just simply turn it upside down and make sure that it's level. Remove any grease proof paper that's still on from baking and then brush with your alcohol. I'm using a mixture of sweet cherry brandy and rum. I use brandy as the main ingredient, about half of it should be brandy and then the other half should be made up of a quarter rum, dark rum and a quarter sherry. Brush it all round the top and the side and be very generous with it. Once you've brushed it over, take a little bit of your marzipan and just fill in any of these holes where the currants and raisins have popped and left a dint. That way you'll be sure that you get a good coating. It's a bit like decorating your house. You do the polyfiller first. Then roll a sausage of marzipan and fill in that large gap and put in a bit of marzipan around the bottom edge. This will stop your coating from pulling in and give you a much better finish. I'm using a nine inch cake so you'll need around about a kilo of marzipan. This will give you a nice covering, not too thick but thick enough that it'll give a good um, support to your icing when you put that on. Once you've filled in all the gaps and the holes and put your sausage and marzipan round, then you need to use a little jam or orange marmalade, whatever's your favourite. A lot of people use um, sieved apricot jam for this and that means that you don't get any lumps. I personally quite like marmalade. Make sure you've boiled it up properly because again this is going to sterilise the top of your cake and make sure you don't have any problems if you are storing your cake for any length of time. And again put plenty on because this is also adding flavour to the cake. Now take the rest of your marzipan and knead it through so that it's soft. If it's cold day you can always pop it into a microwave for a little while. But you do have to be really careful with that. Put, just put it in for a few seconds because sugar gets very, very hot and you can burn yourself quite badly. Don't knead like you're kneading bread because all you're trying to do is push this together and stop it cracking. You can see the cracks there, but by the time you've done this for a little while, you shouldn't have any cracks coming in. If necessary, you can use a little bit of icing sugar on your worktop to stop it sticking but try and avoid using too much because that will dry out your paste. Now you can see this is getting smoother around the edges and that means it's ready to use. So shake a little bit of icing sugar onto your worktop. Don't ever use corn flour because that, the yeast in that will react with the sugars in your cake and that will form um, uh, alcohol, which is okay, but also gas, which isn't, which will give you bubbles on the surface of your cake. And then, because this is a round cake, you want to try and roll this round. And the way to do that is just keep giving it a little bit of a turn. over 
and round. So if you make it about that with perhaps a little bit extra, you can use a piece of string or a tape measure to actually measure it more accurately. But if you check your paste, then you can see whether it's big enough. This needs to go a little bit bigger. This is probably about my preference, around about that sort of thickness. And that should be, just give it a little tad more rolling, but that's pretty close now to the size I'm looking for. If you have any lines across, it's a good idea at this point to use your smoother because while it's on the table you can put a little bit of pressure onto it and get it really smooth and then it's ready to put onto your cake. My technique has always been to balance the cake and lift the marzipan so the cake, the cake slides under the marzipan and make sure that it goes to the middle of the cake. Then using your smoother and a nice firm action, press down and if there's any air bubbles just smooth them out to the edge of the cake. Once you've got it pretty flat you then need to look at the sides. Now the best way to do that is work from the top and work round slowly. If you get a fold like this, just lift it and just use the warmth of your hand to stroke it into the side of the cake until you work all the way down the sides. The longer you take over this, the better it's going to be. You've got to remember this is a base coat for your, your sugar paste cake. So you want to make sure that you just push it all the way down. You can see how it's pulled in. There's no fold on the side of the cake. And then you can use, it's this part of your hand to just go around and give that top edge a nice even finish. Now once you're there, make sure you push this really well into the cake. This is where having done the, the sausage does help. You get a more even finish. And once you've done that, you can use your knife to cut away the excess. Don't whiz round because the tendency is to dig in. Go from the top and go straight across. have some excess marzipan left because if you try and do your marzipan exactly to the size of your cake you will have a lot more trouble trying to get rid of those folds so this will keep put it in an airtight container and it will keep or if you're going to do something like marzipan roses or bigger modelling you've got some to go with but don't ever scrimp on your marzipan because it does have a long sell by and you're better having too much than too little. This one's a PME smoother and this is my favourite for doing the basic cake shapes. So you can go around with that and smooth in the sides. This is the FMM one which has a nice straight edge and that's actually quite good for the, the pulling in those bottom edges and making sure that it is absolutely straight. But it's entirely up to you. Different people like different products. If you're only going to get one, personally I would make it the PME because um, I find it a more useful general tool and for that better edging you can always run your knife around. And if you're going to use this board as your main board, you have centred your cake in the middle. So if it's moved while you've been marzipanning, just take a knife or a, a measure if you've got one and just go around and just check it is still central on your board. That one's fine. If it isn't, use your smoother just to push it over. You'll feel that it gets a nice shine on it as you do this. 
don't overshine it, but it, it is good if you can give it a little bit of a sheen. Mm -hmm. 